Hello, my friends. Welcome to Breakfast with Sergio. In this episode today, I have none other than Marilyn Ardo. She's going to talk to us about her amazing project called Hair Flag, and you don't want to miss it. Well, hi, Marilyn. How are you today? How are you doing? I'm great. I'm great. How are you? I am doing great. Super happy to have you here in Breakfast with Sergio. And uh, super happy to have this conversation with you because I've been following you on social media. You did not know about it. <laughs> I've been <laughs> kind of looking at your posts and everything that you're doing because another uh, artist who watches Breakfast with Sergio sent me a message and said, you have to check out Marilyn. You have to check out the project that's called Her Flag and what she's doing. And uh, she was so right. When I checked it, I fell in love with it. So we have to talk. You have to come over here to share a little bit of what you're doing with our friends at Breakfast with Sergio. But before we do that, the most important question that uh, kind of uh, starts the, the whole conversation is, what is your favorite breakfast? Oh, my favorite breakfast. <laughs> um, it's uh, eggs. I love eggs. Hard-boiled, yeah. scrambled, over easy. Love to kick off the day with some protein. Oh, uh, That is also my favorite breakfast. <laughs> and for those of you who have been watching Breakfast with Sergio for a while, you know that I do a lot of scrambled eggs with just about anything I can find in the fridge. So <laughs> that, that is awesome. So, uh, Marilyn, for our friends here who do not know, uh, know you, uh, you are an artist. Uh, tell us a little, kind of a little bit of what is it that you do as, as an artist first. Okay. Um, I am a mixed media artist, so I do a lot of um, unique, different techniques and mix them all together. So I do a lot of sewing and on unusual materials such as plastic and vintage paper and um, d just do funky things with... Um, with weird techniques and try and push sewing into a, a and fiber art into a kind of a weirder more unique place now where are you located at where's your studio practice at? i am in oklahoma city oklahoma right smack dab in the middle of the country okay wonderful and now i know because you just told me right before this episode that you're actually not in oklahoma right now you're going to tell us where you're at because it all relates to this big project that's called her flag uh, can you give us a, in a few sentences what is that project her flag yeah, so the 100th anniversary of the passing of the 19th Amendment um, is in 2020. And I'm a little bit of a suffrage history nerd. I love that era of when uh, many, many people in the United States were fighting to get voting for women in the United States. So as soon as I realized that 100th anniversary was coming up, I wanted to do something. And it took 36 states to ratify the 19th Amendment. And I'm partnering with a woman artist in all 36 states that ratified. And we're going to create a flag, except a huge flag with 36 stripes, one for each of the ratifying states. Wow. It's 18 feet, 18 feet by 26 feet. So really big project. And I'm traveling over 14 months, 17 separate trips to make this flag. And we're going to do public performances in each capital city where we'll sew it right there. So it's, um, yeah, it's a big big, big, fabulous celebratory project. So what's the plan? So let's say you arrive to a particular state and then you meet with the artist and what do you do? So we have a public performance somewhere in the capital city. So they're all in the capital cities. And a lot of the states, you know, the capital city isn't mm -hmm. the most um, <laughs> populated or the biggest. So it's kind of a, a fun uh, yeah. to go to these cities that I probably would never go to. But we go in and uh, I settle in a little, and then the next day we do the performance, which is gonna be in all different public locations. Okay. And um, so I will receive the stripe from the artist, sew it right there. We'll have a female performer. Um, we'll probably talk about a little bit of the state history. We're, um, we're gonna have League of Women Voters there doing their thing, um, talking about you know registering to vote, registering people to vote. So wow. it, it'll be a whole great dog and pony show. It'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> Uh, what are some of the some of the things, maybe two or three, kind of a like key components that you think you know are were very important for anyone, any artist who may be thinking of a of a project idea that they have, they they really wish they could actually, you know, see it come to life, like you have done in your case with such a complex idea. Uh, give us some of the those kind of key elements that for anyone who's out there, this is a moment you don't want to miss. Take a pen pen or pencil. Or write it down on your phone, but if you're driving, don't do it. <laughs> Wait for later. And, uh, you know, give us some of those uh, really nuggets of information because I think they will be priceless. 
So, I mean, the, like the biggest takeaway is, is collaborating makes your life awesome. Okay. Collaborating with other people mm -hmm. is, is when magic happens in your life. You know, when you sit alone and don't, you know, get out and um, connect with other people, I think, you know, you can be in kind of a weird space. But I know for me, it was really important for this project to be a huge you know, collaboration of lots of people. Mm. So I think collaborating is, 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 the, is the big key. And, and I think also when it comes to collaborating, having the right people in the team, right? Having the right people with you, because there are, uh, in my experience, there are all kinds of people, right? There are those who will say, yes, you got it, you know, let's do this. And that was uh, who might put doubts on you, who might say, oh no, this project is too big, it's never gonna never take off. You know, tell me a little bit about the selection of your team, of the people that you want to collaborate. What are some of the qualities that you look for? Well, I just thought of something really good that I want to tell you. Let's, um, let's do it. I worked with an art business coach um, for many years, and okay. it was a phenomenal experience. And I highly recommend, and I know you, you know, it's a really great thing. Great. Right. And um, I think when you come up with an idea as big as, as, as mine or any big yeah. idea that you have, in the beginning, there's a time period where you have to protect it. And you can't, um, telling other people about it is dangerous in that right. people can derail you. So I think there's a period where you kind of have to protect it and only... Um, only really share it with you people that you know are going to be supportive. Mm -hmm. And I know with this project, there was a moment that I was talking to someone and I had to, I had to just say, you know, you, I, I can't, you know, yeah. I can't do this. You need to, you know, you need to understand I'm, you know, I'm trying to keep my idea safe and not get negative ideas going <laughs> in my head at this point. So I actually did have to stop someone um, really? when the embryonic stages of the project. And that is very important, right? Because that's kind of going deep into that conversation of, of the process of selecting the people that you, in this case, in the early stages, and that you want to share this idea. Because everybody, even the people who may have great intention, who are really excited about you, like, oh, yeah, have you thought about this? And now, now like, say, yeah, now you start kind of diverging into some other tangents that perhaps are <laughs> distracting you than keeping you where you want to be. That is, uh, that is great advice. And so, my friends, you know, if check that out. I think that's a, one of the things that you can do. You know, if you have an idea that you are, you know, waiting to get out in the world. Marilyn, something that I want to make sure that we share with our friends is how can we help you with a project? I know you, you know, something, an idea like this needs funding, right? It doesn't just, that, that's another big part of the process. You know, how am I going to pay for all this, right? And all the expenses that come with it. So tell me a little bit of that part of the funding and then how can our friends also be part of what you're doing? I did a lot of research on crowdfunding um, and we have a campaign going right now on ifundwomen.com, which is a new platform, which I'm really been delighted with. ifundwomen.com. Wonderful. Okay. And we're actually, um, they're on their homepage for their second project. So we're delighted to be featured on their Oh wow! Amazing, amazing. So we are we are up and live. The crowdfunding campaign is up until um, April eighth. Okay. So we have a hundred thousand dollar goal. Every time I say that is terrifying. <laughs> but uh, we, um, yeah, we have a big goal because it's a big project. Right, right. Very cool. And so we invite our friends. If you, you know, after listening to this podcast or to watching Breakfast with Sergio, if you want to also collaborate please go check it out now tell us where can we all find you in all the social medias instagram facebook website and so on so i you know i'm just an I, on my regular art social media is just marylandartist.com or Marilyn artists on instagram and facebook and the her flag project is her flag 2020 on instagram and facebook we want to say congratulations on this amazing project we want to wish you only the best for the, for the uh, project in the future and for all the artists who are working with you as well. Well, thank you so much, Marlene. Thanks so much for uh, joining us today. I want to thank all our friends for watching today. Please share this episode with a friend. This is one of those that you really cannot just watch and go. You have to watch and click share before you go. And Marlene and I would really appreciate you uh, for doing that. Thank you, my friends. And we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.